So, my name is Kelvin Lewis. I hope you are well. Yeah, today we are going to do a very simple flyer. I use 1000 by 500, 1000 by 500 with a 72 resolution for web quality. This picture I'm going to use is straight from Pinterest. Yes, I stole it. It's not a good thing, but I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's go. So, I'll drag it enough to fit the screen because I want to create a, a lot of contrast between the text and the images you understand so this oil with a spoon is more of a main character for me and i use the eye drop, the the color fill to sample its background to make it seamless to make it seem like it is one that is the whole aim of it so the thing i'm doing is called fresh fire it's for a denomination i'm part of ministry i'm part of yes so fresh fire so i'm going to use adaraj a new phone that i found that is look that i like it looks very beautiful i love it <laughs> yeah that's it that's it so i'm trying to sample the color of the image later on later on i'll change this i'll change this into a gold ingredient but just to have a vision of whatever i'm doing that is why i try to sample the the golden color first so i think i will enlarge it a little yes remember i want to make this very simple beautiful and sweet like you hey no i'm lying <laughs> out so it is a rectangle i'm using use a golden color I got a golden gradient. I found this gradient on Resource Boy. I put a link in the description. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's okay. And uh, make sure that the edges are rounded. So I'll take like 19. Yes, this looks good. Uh, my font 12 p.m. With it fonts for the time i'll be using montserrat montserrat the most popular font where i'm from because i've seen plenty of people use it i'm like please can you give me a break oh what is this <laughs> yeah that's the thing but i love it as well and i know why they love it it's very nice so with me when i design my aim is to make sure that the flyer is just looking good and two there is more clarity to it i'm more of an artist so most of the time eligibility and um beauty aesthetics is what i look at if it's eligible and it's aesthetic i'm good can this dog stop i hope you don't hear the dog i hate it So with the on-screen um, keyboard thing thingy there, I think you can pay more attention to that because it allows you to see the various shortcuts I'm using to do certain things. You understand? Right now I'm using Control A to select all the text. You understand? So I wouldn't like to. So Control A again to select all the text once again. You know, mental space. You see, huh? So you don't you don't feel left behind. It helps a lot if you even like Rana, you can even mute my voice on the me or the music beneath this video and then concentrate on the artwork take time and see how i'm doing certain things it will help you in the long run trust me i'm not lying so i took this picture also from pinterest just to add a little character to my background because it was looking too bland so what i'm gonna do is that i will change the blend mode into lighting yes lighting yeah and then give it a little bit of gaussian blur so when you go to filter you go to blur then gaussian blur that's it for you i had it like 251 or something 41.5 you can do anything that suits you yeah so that's what i did 
should I add logo? So this thing has been worrying me. Whenever I try to add a picture, sometimes Photoshop it doesn't allow me unless I go back and reselect the thing again. I mean, this is so unfair. So unfair. So if you know how to fix this, kindly write it in the comment section. And I'll make sure that every resource that is used in this video will be in the description. You understand? I'll be adding resource boy. The fire flakes I'll be using later on in this video. Yeah, maybe the backgrounds if you want. The backgrounds I'll be putting them on um my telegram channel. So make sure you join in the description. Sometimes I do an impromptu live video or live session, so you can also join. So I added the brush, the brush right there to give it, as I said again, character to the design. It shouldn't be that raw, you understand? So right now, what I did was I put the text into a folder. Now I'm trying to add a color gradient overlay to it. So I'll be using the 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 golden gradient I have said already that I got from resource but it's a full pack almost a hundred gradients yeah so it will be in the description it, like that help me i don't need to be going through colors just to create a gold gradient anymore i just go and i click it and it's done bro and that's what i want so i'll put it in the description the design is almost done so what i'm gonna do right now is add some fire flicks to it once again to add character <laughs> I like character. Character gives definition to a certain thing, you understand? I like the design to be defined. You see, fresh fire, a fresh anointing. You see, where the fire is burning, there's sparkles from the fire. No, I'm not trying to be poetic or anything. I'm just saying, you know, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'll add a little bit of darkness to the bottom. Uh -huh. So the brush, the flow is 100. Make sure flow, flow is 100, and and then opacity is 100 all the time to avoid any mistakes. The brush is a soft brush, the normal Photoshop brush, and I just use that to smudge the background. Oh, bro! So we are done. Thank you for watching. God bless you, and please subscribe. I love you. Bye. Thanks.